Hi guys. Good. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Hi teacher. How are you? How is Hi. everybody? Fine. How are you? Doing well. Hi, Rocío. Hi, Fabiola. Fernando. Hi. Gabriel. Hi, Hi, okay. I'm going to mute the microphone. Uh, so it's a little bit noisy. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. It's better. Okay. Well, it's great seeing you again. I'm fine. I'm okay. Always good. <laughs> it's all good. Um, so we were looking at past simple last night, right? We're going to do some exercises here and then practice the structure of the questions. All right. Uh, who did the homework, by the way? Nobody did homework? No, I didn't. No. Yep. I didn't. See, I don't see anybody sent it. If you did it, send it, yes, all right? Did. If you didn't. Okay, that one person who did it, please send it to the group so I can check it later. When you say the word, ruido. Yeah. Let me see who that is. Okay, it's better. Yeah, when you say that one word, optional, people don't do homework. I imagine so. Bad, bad, bad. You're lost if you don't do it. It's all right. Yeah. So, these exercises. Hold on, I'm going to mute everyone. <laughs> Okay, let's do the exercise. Number one, Fabiola, can you read, please? Okay. Uh, so, which option is a correct way to answer the question? Were you a good student in high school? Okay. Yes, I was. Very good. Number two. Rocio, remember you're muted, so you have to unmute the microphone. The words in the correct order. You born where city in this? And the answer. Uh, where you born in the city? Yes. Very good. Then number three. Um, the Kelida. Okay. Form a question to match this answer. My favorite subjects were math and science. Uh, is then is the first. What were your favorite subject in school? In school. In school, you connected, but yes, that is the right answer. Number four, Orlando. Which is correct? Uh, number two, when was Peter Borg? Great. By the way, guys, if you just joined, we're working on section 1.8. Okay. Uh, number five, Carlos Morales. Carlos. He's not there. Leo. <laughs> Hi, Leo. Hi. Good night, everybody. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Thanks. Help us well, out. What? Number five, please. Number five. Choose the best question to match this response. I was. 50 years old. Uh, let me see. How old were you in 1999? Great. Okay. So everything is good. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not happy. Come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All right, good, good, good. Um, so, so far we've looked at past simple. We saw pronunciation of, of the past, right? Now, what I want us to practice tonight are WH questions, okay, with did. For example, can you give me an example of a WH question in the past? What? Uh-huh. When? No, but the complete question. Ah, uh, complete. Oh, okay. So what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> no, in the past. What are we going the to past, do? Uh, in, in the past, in the past, okay. Like your like band song, where do you use? With was or where? What, what is, when did you graduate? What, what did you do last week? Okay, we're gonna say when, when did you graduate? Okay, that worked. What is the structure, Herbert? What or when? What, what did, did you graduate? When did you graduate? WH question. WH uh -huh. question, did, the subject, <laughs> and then the verb. Okay, this is the structure. Yeah. Plus, plus, plus subject. subject. Plus subject. The complement. verb in the, in the past the form of the verb. The basic form of the verb. Very good. Okay, so we're going to do a similar exercise. Can you mute the microphone, please? I hear the wind. Thank you. Okay, so if I tell you, for example, I went to Italy in, in 19, well, that's too far back, in 2018, okay? I, and I underline, I'm going to underline Italy right now. For example, what is the WH question you have to ask to get to this answer? Where? When? Uh -huh. when? Where? When? Where? Where? When did you go? Where were you? Because this is the answer. Italy is the answer. So it's a place. It's where. Where, where did, you did you go? go? Uh, mm -hmm. In, in 2018. Uh -huh. Okay, now I'm going to use the same one, but I will underline the year. So instead of Italy, Instead of underlining Italy, I'm going to underline 2018. What's the question for that in that case? What question do I need to ask for the other person to say 2018? When? When did you go? When? When? When did you? When did you? Did you go? Go. Go. Where? In to Italy. Italy. To Italy. Italy. Yes. To Italy. Okay. And if questions are confusing. This is what you have to use. Make sure you're following the right structure. And it's important for me to mention that here you can add additional information. For example, not that eight. For example, you can say what kind of music. And this is WH. Then I would say, did you like when you were young, for example, right? So you can put details here. Is that clear? Okay. Yeah. Yes. So we're going to practice making questions right now. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I'm going to send you an exercise and we're going to work on it it's similar to what we just did. All right. You have to form WH questions. I'm going to send you the sentences, make questions. You will have five minutes to work on it. Only five minutes, so do it quickly, please. In small groups. I'll send it to you in a minute. And meanwhile, I'll check please. Here we go.
eat yesterday? At dinner. Um, let me see. Mm, I think I think it. Uh, I eat pupusas. I guess so. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, A. Was, well, in, in my case, I, I, I remember that I ate uh, black beans and a couple of eggs. Okay. That was it. All right, I sent you a link for you to do, to make the question. Okay, open the link on your WhatsApp. And let's try to do at least five of those. As many as you can. Oh, okay. Yes, you don't need to type them, but I need you to, well, type them or say them, whatever works. You? Very well, as always. It's nice. Okay, you tell me. Question, please. Guys, I sent you a link. Could you please form the questions, form WH questions with that? It's on WhatsApp. Okay, okay let me perfect. see. I'm in this moment. Sure. Let's try to do some of those. Thank you. To home from my work. I mean, I'm going every day to my work, you know, to work to the company. So, uh, and, and I tell her that I don't gonna attend to class last night. But, right. but after when I take my, my dinner, so I went to bed to sleep because I feel a little bit sick, you know. I, I, you know, I have a little problem with my stomach, you know, and after the lunch time. So, and, and for that reason, I don't attend to class last night. And <laughs> what did you do, uh, Rocio, last night? Hold on, guys, Flor, sorry. Flor. Can we, I sent you a link through WhatsApp. Can we try to make five questions with that? So just to make sure you know how to use the structure. Okay. Yeah, make at least five questions, but um, complete the exercise, right? Mm -hmm. At least five. Okay. I was in uh, 13, December 13. Okay. okay. And you, Carla? My birthday was in 7 April, so mm. in my house, yeah. in pandemic, okay. very happy, <laughs> <laughs> surrounded by a lot of people, yeah. <laughs> okay, I sent you a link through WhatsApp, can you open the link and let's at least make five questions, all right? I, I want to make sure you're using the correct structure. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay. Number one. Where did you go to school? Where did you go? Where, where, did, where, you did, go? You, where did you go? Okay, entonces ahí. Otra no pregunta Spanish. cuando abrió el puesto. ¿Mm? No Spanish. No more. Okay. Okay. No, yeah, no, 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 Did you no, 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 Yes. No. This question not. No. Ah, that's why you're okay. Because I'm waiting. At least make five of those. So I'm waiting, and nobody has finished. Uh huh. No, ya lo hicimos. All right. Tenemos que entrar. Do it quickly. Okay. At least two, and then okay, we're okay. gonna go back. Hello. Hi. So how many questions Hi. have you done? Uh, uh, I don't have any question in this moment. I am finished the link. 
Now you finished everything. Great. We're going to go back now. Hello. Hi, we're back. Yeah. Welcome. How many questions did you make? Five. No, only five. five. One. How many? Five, that's okay. All right, is the structure clear now? Crystal clear? Yeah. Not horchata clear? Yes, Ms. Navas. All right, crystal clear, awesome. Very good, now we can move on then. We're gonna look at uh, how to use, use two, okay? Please read the instructions, Otto. Hello. Uh, destruction. Okay. Let me. The objective, actually. Yes, I need to, to take out. Okay, take out. By the aim of this class, you will be able to make a positive and negative statement in this past tense using to bear the bear to be. Additionally, you will be able to talk about your background in English. For example, explaining where you were born and when you came to the United States. These English conversation skills will help you introduce yourself and respond to questions using correct English grammar. Thank you. And uh, no, that's not the one. It's actually this one, um, 1. 1.9, this one, sorry. Okay, ah, okay. Uh, read the instructions, please, Alvaro, quickly. Sorry, my bad. Okay, in the world, I like it. Who? Alvaro, yes. go ahead. Hello. Real English conversational skill with the phrase used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements in negative and short answer with used to learn English phrase like I used to be very messy when I was a kid, but now I'm a very neat and I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspaper every day. Read the newspaper every day. Very good. We're going to be talking about used to then. Okay. Pay attention to the structure because later we're going to practice. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits using used to. Let me give you a couple of examples. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used. And after that, I'm going to start explaining how to structure these sentences together. So let's do that right now. Let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. 
I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later I learned to paint and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. The video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. You still refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So I used to and in this case be. Very messy, but uh, now um, very neat. There we go. So the subject in our sentence is I. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors right now. Uh, this follows used to. And then we have the verb to be. Now, this just happens to be the verb that we're using in this example, but it's not always going to be the verb to be. And then finally, we're going to have some sort of complement that um, uh, in order to finish that idea there. And so now let's try to make a couple of more examples. So I'm going to mention some of my own. So I used to, and I'm going to say I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid. Um, and well, we follow the structure. Um, we have a subject. Then this follows used to. Then we have the verb in the present tense. And then we have some sort of complement at the end. Now let me present the negative structure. Let me present how we're going to make negative statements. So previously we learned that we can make positive statements with used to. Now we're going to talk about negative statements. The only thing that's going to change to our previous structure is that we're going to include didn't. All right, so that's what I want you to notice. And also I want you to notice that used to will no longer be in the uh, it will no longer be in the past and now it's going to be in the present and that's because of this auxiliary verb that you see here. So we're going to have the subject plus didn't and then used to will be in the present. It's not going to be in the past like we saw it in our positive statements. And the rest will pretty much stay the same. Uh, so the subject plus didn't used to plus the verb in the present and then whatever complement exists. So in this case, um, we're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and write uh, a couple of examples here. So some of the ones that I mentioned as we began the class. Let me go ahead and give another example here. I'm gonna say, I didn't use to collect anything. But I do now. There we go. And there is one last way on how to express negative statements, and that is using never used to. And it's quite similar. So let me give you an example about this. I never used to play sports. But now I play every day. So we can also make negative statements using never used to. 
Okay, so the subject plus never used to. I used to have a lot of hobbies. Right. We'll um, is the structure clear or do you have any questions? This is the time because after this we're going to practice. Is the structure clear? So, so. Yes, teacher. It is. Oh, clear for me. Or yes, it's clear. Yes, yes, it's clear. Yes. But we need to make to be careful. I, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. When we say I used to, it means that at some point of my life I had stopped doing that thing, or maybe like I used to and I still doing that thing, you know. Like, no, it, it used to means it's a habit you used to have in the past. The equivalent um, of it in the present is I, and, and I wanted to ask you that. Is it possible for me to say I, I used to go to a park every Sunday? Is this okay, guys, in the present? Because we're talking about the past right now. But this one, is this correct? It's not mm. correct. You so no. you cannot use it. The equivalent of it is a usually. I usually. Yes, uh -huh. because it can I happen usually. in the present. And this, this is a habit. A habit. A habit. <laughs> a habit <laughs> of the past. All right. So you no longer do that. Okay. So it's going to be used to and the base form. And if it's negative, we're going to say didn't. Used to and the verb in the Neb. base form. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, this is then basically that. it. All right, if you can take a screenshot of this, send it to a group in case you have questions. But right now we're going to discuss the questions I sent you. You're going to work with different people. I'm going to ask you a question right now as a model. This is what we're going to do. You ask the question and discuss, okay? First question says, what is a food that you used to hate, but now you like? Who wants to answer that question quickly? All right. Number one, it says, what is a food that you used to hate, but now you like? Yes. Okay, but you need to use that structure, all right? You have to say, I used to hate. Pacayas, I don't know how to spell pacayas, <laughs> but now I love them, for example. You have to answer with a complete statement. Okay. All right, what does the other question say? What's the next question? Who used to be your hero when you were young? You can say, for example, super power. For me, it was the Pink Power Ranger. That, that used to be my hero. Pink. What's her name? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Kimberly and the other one. I'm going to say Kimberly. All right. I don't know. I think she's the yellow one. She's a Power Ranger. It used to be my hero when I was a child. Okay, so you have to answer with a complete statement. Is that clear? Yeah. Ready? Okay. It's time to practice. Let's practice speaking active invitation, please, and let's discuss the questions. Here we go. Yeah. Well, we're supposed to to practice with I uh, used to uh, form. Repeat me again, please. I couldn't hear you. 
And we're supposed to to uh, build uh, a couple of sentences using the use to uh, okay. form. I, I guess so. Yes, we're gonna ask each other. Uh, we have to use just to, right? Yeah, right, okay. Okay. <coughs> Which one is going to start? I'm sorry? Well, Fernandez, read the first question. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I ask you first. Okay, did, did you used to get good grades in high school? Uh, I I didn't hear you. Could you repeat that, okay. that please? Okay, perfect. Did you use to get good grades in high school? Did you choose to get good grade grades in high school? Uh, I'm not sure about the meaning of, of grades. Wow. Eh, buenas notas. Conseguía buenas notas. Good grades. Yes, and, well, and do you have the question, My by bad. the way? What question is that? Uh, the question is... The, 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 the fourth one, right? Jose Hernandez, look. Yes. Uh, these are the questions we're discussing. Um, I sent them to WhatsApp so that you can see them. Okay, let, let, me, let me check it. All right. One moment, please. Well, what about you, Jose Manzano? Can I see you, Jose? I don't see you. Yes, I, I just left my college class and we have we have to meet to meet uh, to solve uh, a homework. I'm uh -huh. sorry, I just uh -huh, I just joined to your class. Oh, okay, no, no problem. No, I was saying, are you able to turn your camera on? Because I, I don't remember your your face. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Go on. Okay, do I don't. <laughs> I'm not wearing a a, a jersey right now, so. But uh, I'm gonna. I'm, yeah, but I'm gonna activate. Fine. Don't worry. I'm, I'm gonna activate. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna need wine. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. I don't want to, to. I don't want to see you naked, dude. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> Put the shirt on first. Please. <laughs> All right, Jose Hernandez, did you used to make it? Did you used to have good grades in school? Yeah, I, I, I didn't, I didn't use to to get uh, good grades. Actually. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's that's a good answer. You can ask the following one. I have to go check on our um, I used to play uh, but but now but now I don't uh -huh. what did you used to play uh, PlayStation mm, not anymore <laughs> <laughs> you don't play anymore no Okay, well, that's sad. <laughs> uh, I think it's um, when you use, when you use, uh, you used to, used to, and you refer to something in the past, it, and that is not um, frequently because it's only one once and you the you don't do right now and usually i think it's, it's something like a frequently right miss mm -hmm. well the no, we're not gonna use usually right now uh, focus on using used yeah. to and used to if i have it in the past so uh, it means que solías hacer que solías jugar we're talking about your childhood All right. When, when we are in the childhood. Yes, basically we're talking about the childhood right now. 
Where do you okay. usually do it in the school in the free time? Say the question again, Sergio. Uh, uh, for example, uh, what do you usually uh, do it in the school in your free time? I don't see that question. Are you reading the questions that I sent? The structure. Structure. No, 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 you're not. No, you're not reading the questions I said. Uh, here are the questions, Sergio, look. Used to. Those Used are the to. questions you're supposed to be discussing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question, guys. Uh, did you used to have a pet? Um, no, I, no I, I used to have a pet. I didn't used to. I, I didn't used to have a pet, right. but... Mm -hmm. Okay, Leo, did you used to have good grades at school? Did you used to get good? Yes, I did it. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I have that's, that's the answer. Very good. What grade? Eight, nine, or ten, Leo? Are you a, a bright uh, kid? <laughs> nine. I think in nine. Nine. What did you get in the five? Well, can you repeat that? Putting you in the spot. <laughs> what grade did you get in five? What score? Uh, 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 five. Five. What score did you get? Uh, I think it's um, science. <laughs> no, but, well, but what score? Que puntaje in your five? I, uh, what, score? what score did you get in your five? Leo? Uh, <laughs> let me see. I think it's seven. Got a seven, yeah. right? Josue, did you used to have good grades? Um, I think yes. Um, in language. Languages. Yes, language. Okay, and you said you. I was good in math. Really? Mathematics. Mm -hmm. Mathematics. Okay. Mathematics. That's nice. Okay. And you, and you, Miss, what subject do you used to prefer when 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 you was a child? When you were a child. Yes. Um, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I don't have a favorite. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I really liked English actually, yeah. but I got nine point three in my five. It was a Ooh. really good score. Yeah, yes. so I, I would dig, I did well in all the subjects, but I, I didn't have a favorite one. Okay. No languages, maybe. Mm. Yeah, maybe that was my favorite one. Okay, we're gonna go back. Yeah. Let's go back. Okay. Okay, welcome. <laughs> Thank you for helping welcome. me. <laughs> those those welcome. are my lines right there. <laughs> welcome. Okay. Did you guys practice? Uh, so sorry. I mean, last night I, I, I came not to be in the in, in our meeting. I mean, it's in the night class because I send you an, a message yes. and WhatsApp. Right. Uh, but, but I'm here. I mean, I feel very nice. Great. Yes, as long as you send me a message through WhatsApp, that's all right. Okay. Okay. And I'm glad you feel better. Okay, this part, guys, 1.11, we're not going to do as a class. So this you have to complete on your own because you have to do the listening again, right? And, yep. To collect some, there you say, there you say. Yes, I think you have to listen to the previous one to answer this one or get the right structure. So we're gonna skip that for now. Do you have any questions based on the practice? Mm -mm. Everything, Everything is fine. Everything is clear from me. 
Yes, no question? Uh, Great. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to move on then. Uh, please read the objective. Patricia? No, hold on. Catherine, Catherine Ramirez. I haven't heard you. Okay. Uh, I read the instruction. Yes, the objective. Yes? Okay. Uh, okay, perfect. Uh, build English conversation skill with the phrases used to which you to describe your childhood or by the end of this class you will be able to for questions, statements, negative and answers with you to learn English phrases like what sport do you do you use to play when you were a kid? Do you used to call it thing when you were a child? And what do you use to do for fun? when you were a kid. Great, thank you. Let's see how okay. uh, they're structured, okay? Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to make questions using used to. We'll practice making yes and no questions and WH questions. For example, you'll be able to make questions such as, what sports did you use to play when you were a child? Did you use to collect anything when you were a child? What kind of things did you used to do for fun when you were a kid? As I mentioned previously, what we're going to do in this class is we're going to learn how to form questions using used to. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on creating yes and no questions as the one that I'm circling there. Did you use to collect things? That's a yes or no question. And then the way to answer that, yes, I used to collect comic books, or no, I didn't use to collect anything. And also, we're going to learn how to create those WH questions with used to. Let me start by presenting the structure. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of the two questions that are here. As you can see, the first question is a yes or no question. And the second question, what sports did you use to play? That's an information question. That means that we have a WH word. So let's try to make sense of the first one first. Um, the um, yes or no questions don't have a WH word, and therefore start with did. So did you used to, and it follows the verb in the present, collect things did is the auxiliary that we're going to use and then that follows the subject in this case it happens to be you that is going to follow used to if you notice used to is not in the past it's in the present and then it's going to follow the verb in, in its present tense and then finally we'll have some sort of compliment and how do we answer this type of questions well we can either have a positive response such as yes I used to collect comic books or no, I didn't use to collect anything, but now I collect art. So let me try to give a couple of more examples and we're going to continue to use that same structure. Um, we want to focus on doing yes and no questions at this moment, so let me ask you the following question. Did you used to listen to rock music? Okay. Did you, I'm going to say, did you used to, notice that used to is in the present, and that follows the verb in its present form. Then sometimes you're going to have a compliment, sometimes you're not. Okay. Um, going to be this structure and we're going to practice it quickly all right you don't need to hear the complete explanation because we have been working on it so it's this subject and what else how do we make the yes no question guys this subject and used to used to or used to used to use well, no d right mm -hmm. and what else when Bearing the present, verb in the base form. Verb in the base form. 
uh, or infinitive. It's, it's, not, it's not present, okay? Uh, then the WH question, this is optional. If it's a WH, you know it's exactly the same. I always say that. And we have a WH question. All right, this structure you should take notes of. You should have a notebook when you have a class, all right, so you can take notes and understand it a little better. But this is the structure we're going to use. I will have it here so that we can compare and see whether this is right. Um, so, let me see. Let's do the exercise, okay. Help me out. Everybody should be on section 1.14. And number one, go ahead and read, Jose Hernandez. Cuando llaman, se traba. Se traba. Cuando alguien manda, llaman. Ah, number one. Which one is correct? Sí. Second one. The second one is correct? Yes. yes. Everybody agrees? Sí, ahí está. Yes, I agree. Yes. Guys, mute the microphone, please. Cuando alguien llama, I don't know what happened, right? <laughs> mute the microphone if that, if that was you. Number two, Fabiola. Which is correct? Uh, oh. I think the first one. No. No. The second one. I'm going to put the structure right here. So Why? Compare it. Oh. No, because the, the bird is in, mm -hmm. in the present. Mm -hmm. So you think it's the... Uh, which one? Number three. I think uh, first one. First one. Yes, yes. Uh, the first one. First one? Did you no, first one. one. Yes. First one. Did yes. you... Use Look, always compare it to the structure, right? This, two, you, two, the verb is in the base form. So, yes. Very good. Number three. Orlando. Number three. Uh, choose the best question to match this answer. I used to care a lot about my appearance. Now, now I am too busy to care how I look. I think first one. The first one? Yeah. Yes. Sounds right. Okay, Carla, number four. Yeah. Complete the question. What kind of video game did you use to play? Number two. The video games. Second one. Second one? Yes, it's following the structure. Yes. What kind of video games? So one. Okay, yeah. next, uh, Flor. Flor, just read. Flor. Hola. Hello. Hi, number five. Well, no, there's no number five. Never mind. No, no. <laughs> there's no. There's no. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. You got it. <laughs> Great job. All right. So we have basically finished. Tell me now. We have some minutes. Do you have questions? So I can explain, if you want me to explain something quickly, I can do that. Otherwise. Uh, the, the answer about these questions? Yes, I, yes, I did to use. Oh. That's a great question. So guys, the answer, the question. I'll give you a tip in general, all right? Okay. Here's what you said, you're right. But I'm gonna give you a tip, guys, pay attention. Okay, so I tell you, are you happy? How do you answer this question? I'm happy. Yes, yes I, I, do. I am. Yes, yes I, I am. Do. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. You started your question with the verb be, so you have to answer with the verb be. So if I ask you, do you like uh, tomatoes? Nobody asked you that question, I think, but anyway. Do you yes, like I tomatoes? Do. How are you going yes, to answer? Yes, I do. That? Very good. You have to answer with the one you started it. So yes, I do. All right. Now if I tell you, will you go to the park? What's the answer? Yes, I, yes, I go. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Go. Exactly. Okay. Yes, I will. Okay. Now if I ask you, did you do your homework? What are you going to answer? No. 
Yes, no, I, I did. Yes, no, I did. Yes, I didn't. Say no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Or no one else, right? But the thing is, you know. have to use the auxiliary. Use the auxiliary. And now the question is, uh, I'm helping okay. you identify how to answer a yes, no question. Okay, so if I tell you, have you bought, have you, have you hold on, have you decided? Yes, I have. You decided? Yes, I have. Very good. Okay. I, you get it. And finally, and finally, did you used to play Yes, I did. What is the answer? Okay. Yes, I yes, did. I did. Yes, yes, I did. I did. Okay, that's the one. So, any question I ask? Uh, okay. Has she stopped speaking? Has the teacher stopped speaking? No, she never stopped raising the blah, blah, blah. Has she stopped? No. She hasn't. She hasn't. She hasn't. She hasn't. She hasn't. She hasn't. And so on. Okay. So this is going to okay. help you in all structures. Thank you. For the okay. Tip. Thank you. All right. Thank My you, teacher. Thank you for thank being you. in class. I thank hope you, to teacher. Know 25 people tomorrow. Okay. Because I had 25 tonight. So 25 people you tomorrow. tomorrow uh, you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, nice. Nice. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Have a good night.